In this video with the Anking, I'm going to show you how to use the custom filter decks. You can use these for multiple different purposes like cramming or simply organizing your cards. Okay, filter decks are super handy. Uh, if you want to cram, you want to learn ahead, whatever. Um, I, I actually wouldn't recommend the learning ahead, but the cramming is great. And you can also separate your decks out. Like if you want one deck on mature cards and one deck that is your not mature cards, things like that. It's really handy. So the way you do it is you go to tools, create filter deck. And it's going to pull up a search term here. And as you can see, it pulled it up from the Zonky step decks and it added is do. Uh, this is important to notice because it's always going to add this is do thing. And you may not want that. You may want it to include cards that are not due today. So keep an eye on that. And notice it pulled up Zonky step decks here. If you actually go in and click on a different deck and then do it, it will pull up that deck. So here's the LL not a cop and now it pulls up that. And you can choose how many cards you want to be in that deck and then how you want them to be selected. And I'm going to show you exactly what these mean here. Uh, but one thing I first want to mention is that the um, 2.1 is significantly, or the V2 scheduler, sorry, in 2.1 is significantly better uh, with the filtered decks because the filtered decks, if you don't have the V2 scheduler, will kick cards out of learning when you have this on. If you're not checking this, you're just cramming, then it's totally fine. If you are checking this, I would suggest watching our video on the V2 experimental scheduler. I've linked that in the description so you can go watch that and better understand why that is, but that's something to learn. The second thing is in the manual here, this part shows you uh, what those things mean. I was right here, what all of these mean, how you want them to be selected. And for example, this relative overdueness is a search term that we use in our video here on how to miss a day. Uh, and we talk about custom filtered decks in that. The other thing is, I'm going to search here, prop do. We'll just bounce around. There we go. Uh, there's a lot of search terms here in the manual uh, that will kind of help you and guide you as to how you can, you'll want to learn all of these and then you put them in here to find the exact cards that you want. Um, so understanding that you can do like is learn if you want learning cards or review cards or if you want cards that were due whenever or this one here is one I use the interval greater than 21 means that a card's mature. So these things are good and handy to use. I don't have them memorized. I just come to the manual whenever I want to do it. But those are important. Now, if you're wanting, like I said, if you're wanting to just cram, you just create it without checking this box and it will just, and then you can create your custom steps and how you want it to do it. If you have the V2 experimental scheduler on, you won't actually be able to create custom steps, but um, you get the idea. So that's kind of how you make the custom filter deck. Now, if we make this, we'll make 10 cards and build it. It's going to say no, because I don't have any that are due. Oops. And that's why I said it's a big problem that people have. Um, so if we go and oops, uh, go to options here, you can delete this is due portion and you want 10 cards, it's gonna mand it, it's gonna pull 10 cards out of these decks into this deck. Now if we empty it, it's gonna put those cards back where they belong. And that's kind of how this works. Now let's say we want to pull it back out, we rebuild it. Um, so that's that's the basics of it here. Now I want to show you how you can search for different things as you're trying to find them. The first thing, actually I'm going to go out here, is to get this add-on. This add-on super good. Filtered. Create filtered deck from the browser. Um, this add-on makes it really easy. So if we go into the browser, let's say you want to learn about cardio. You just right-click, filtered deck, and it's going to pull up everything right there on cardio. And like I said, it's going to pull up this is due again. So let's delete that. And Let's say you just wanted to cram, so we're just going to do that and custom steps. We want 10 cards. Boom, build it, and we have this whole deck on cardio that we can go study. So that's the basics of it. Um, there are other things that are important to learn, and that is notice that it has things um, under the parentheses here, and then it also has this portion here, which means that all of the tags underneath that. But let's say we only wanted cards in a certain deck. We can add deck. Oops, sorry, I need the colon there. Parentheses, on king, LOL, not a cop, space. Now this is one thing that has confused many people. If you want certain tags within a deck, you need to format it like this, deck, and then in parentheses, tags, or tag. Um, if you put and, it would be all cards that have this tag and this tag. So, or if you did an or here, it's going to do everything that is in this deck or in this deck. So it's going to increase your search term. So understanding those things better will help you limit exactly what you want to do. But this part here I wanted to highlight specifically because a lot of people are trying to do that um, and that uh, trying to add the tags from the specific deck.
The other thing you can do is if you want something else, like if you want all cards that are not suspended, you would do a negative is suspended. Like I said, you can go to the manual and kind of learn these things, but now it's going to pull only cards that you've seen as opposed to all cards because you've unsuspended them. Uh, alternatively, you can do things like is new or is learn. So understanding these different things from the manual um, will help you. And then you can choose the filter deck exactly what you want it to be and tweak it. Last but not least, I'm going to just update here to the V2 scheduler. Like I said, you should... Uh, you should probably, and it is going to kick everything out. Uh, you should go watch our video on that just so you understand it a little better. I'm going to rebuild it. Um, and we'll go to the options of that deck. And you can see it's a slightly different. There you go. It'll actually let you add this second filter. So it allows you to do cards that are review cards here as well as new cards. So if you wanted to learn cards that are in this deck that are you've already done and some new cards, you couldn't do that without the V2 scheduler, and now you can. And like I said, if you don't check this box, it doesn't let you do custom steps. It just makes it so that you have a, a wrong button and then a good button, which kicks it out. So that's just a good way to cram. Those are the basics of the filtered decks. Um, you can actually rename them if you want. Boop. So one thing that I like to do is to have a mature deck, and you actually need to change this. And I do prop interval greater than 21 is due. And limit that to 99999. And it will pull all of your mature cards. Oh, well, I don't have any. Um, but it would pull all of your mature cards into that deck so that you can see which ones are mature and then the ones that aren't mature would stay in this deck. So it's just kind of a handy way. Instead of actually moving your cards around, you can just use the custom filtered decks. Best of luck with your studies. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnKingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, OnKingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.